Um, in in country, we uh, attended their. It's, it's called the Escuela Militar. It's their military academy, and we were all paired up one on one with a Spanish, or an English, a, a good English speaking cadet. Their English ability varied from person to person, and we would go through like their days just as if we were one of them. So we attended all the classes, all the formations, the PT, the sports, the lunch, everything for the full day. And we would break up the weeks, like about once a week we would go visit a school in there. So the first week we went to their Calvary school where they actually teach how to ride on horses and use mules because they have like 80% of their nation's mountains. And so they're very useful for uh, traversing the mountains. And then on the weekends we do like cultural excursions. And then the next week we do the same thing. Um, it really, uh, it really taught me like the need to adapt because their culture is like very European based, so it's kind of similar to ours, but there's lots of little like differences that you had to be uh, cognizant of and that you know, just, you wouldn't be like, you can't find them on the internet. And so it was a lot of like, you know, you have to eat with both your hands on the table and like when to salute, how to salute like how to properly greet people. A lot, there's a lot of like small changes that required adapting. And it just showed that like even in other cultures, you know, their cadets fell asleep in class too. They were on their phones in class too. It showed that like, yes, there's little changes that you have to be aware of, but like people are people everywhere in the world. And so that there's always common ground that I found with my cadet, even though we came from like, you know, different countries. You know, we both like video games, so there's just there's a lot of community kind of connections between people. There's less differences than I would have thought.